So we're here this morning to sign the le I'm here to sign the legislation that creates the opioid, opioid trust fund for the city of Jacksonville. Uh, Councilman Bill Gulliford is going to come up here in a moment. As many of you know, uh, took the lead on this issue, uh, a big tragic issue uh, that's facing Jacksonville, like it's facing many of like many other cities are facing. Um, some of the stats that kind of led to the genesis of the councilman starting this uh, in 2017. Our first responders treated 3,749 overdoses in poisoning patients. There were 519 drug-related deaths in Duval County that year. That meeting led to the creation of the innovative pilot program, Project Save Lives, that has demonstrated clear success, which is why we're here today. In 2018, the number of drug-related deaths dropped from 500 to just over 300. Of the 288 patients eligible for the program, 159 are actively engaged in services to help treat their addiction with Gateway Community Services. Our partners at St. Vincent's are reporting a 71% drop in overdose cases. And our, JFR, our men and women of JFRD treated 20% fewer overdose patients, 2,995 throughout the county. Look, these are, these are real people, often not talked about and discussed. Councilman Gullifer and I were talking uh, about this just before we walked in here. Man, many of us and most of us know people and families that have experienced this, and so we're gonna be vigilant. I am proud to follow the lead of Councilman Gulliford on this issue and sign this legislation today. I'm proud to stand with all of our council members that supported this as well, and the men and women of JFRD to deal with this on any given day. So with that, please welcome Councilman Gulliford. Good morning. Good morning. I want to thank the mayor for his support from the very first community conversation we had on this crisis that he and I hosted until now. He obviously understands the tragedy of this. Also, I need to recognize the legislative and participatory support of all of my colleagues with pro who have, with Project Save Lives and its effort help, helped us to stop the dying. And of course, we have a committee that's made up of Councilman Anderson, Councilman Love, one of my favorites, Councilman Missouri. Who did I miss? I, I, um, I guess we're not one of I got, I got a couple of <laughs> He's running for office, you're not. <laughs> um, and also, of course, I'm joined by Council President, which I'm very glad that he's here. And, and of course, Councilman White, Councilman Freeman, Councilman Ferrero. All of them, it was a unanimous vote uh, to, to fund this originally, and, uh, and they've been very supportive throughout the, throughout the thing. This week, the grandson of a prominent member of the Jacksonville community succumbed to an overdose and died. He was in his 30s. I know his father, so I sent him a text, and I told him my heart and prayers went out to him and his family, and that I was very, very sorry. What more could I do to soothe the feelings of a father who experienced the shattering and horrific loss of a child? At my age, life is more precious than in the past, especially young people who still have much time to contribute. I'm prone to scan the obituaries more frequently now, and I've noticed more young people listed without a cause of death. This makes me wonder, are they part of the silent deaths due to overdose? The fight is not over. The overdose deaths in Jacksonville have dropped from about four times the homicide rate to two and a half times the homicide rate last year. The dying continues, albeit a bit slower. We're now in three emergency rooms with a fourth coming on board very soon. We need to be in all of them in our city. But there are evil people still trying their best to addict and kill our people at all levels in the community. This trust fund brings hope that we can do more to stop the dying and aid the recovery. This is a community problem, and government alone can't solve it. Hopefully there are businesses and individuals who will offer financial aid in this fight by way of this fund. In the past, we've had people who've lost loved ones who wanted some way to contribute financially in this fight. Now we have the vehicle. God help us win and end this tragic scourge of addiction and death. Tell you, Councilman Gulliford, that if, if by law you could sign this legislation, <laughs> really. That's very kind. Maybe um, I could just initial <laughs> And I would say um, to the people of Jacksonville, if you have a family member or if your family's been touched by opioid addiction, if you 
you've lost someone or you're dealing with it now, this is yet another step as your city moves toward uh, forward and, and, and being helpful in caring for you and doing everything that we can to be a part of the solution. Thank you, Thank you sir.